Continuous Online Monitoring Quick Guides, also called COLM Quick Guides, recommend instrumentation to replace, partially replace, or extend intervals for existing preventive maintenance, or PM tasks. The EPRI initiative on plant monitorization is really about optimization of resources. The EPRI developed continuous online monitoring quick guides provide the methods and the framework for utilities to reduce, defer, and sometimes even eliminate maintenance cost for major components. Elimination of maintenance cost helps those plants achieve their real objective of lowering the cost to produce electricity. We know fundamentally that a data-driven maintenance strategy, one based on condition rather than time, can result in a reduction in unnecessary intrusive maintenance tasks. Condition-based maintenance allows members to avoid doing maintenance when it's not needed. It allows us to have that data that looks at our equipment and really tells a story about how it's operating and how we need to maintain it going in the future. But how to transition from the traditional time-based approach to a condition-based model? That's where COLM Quick Guides come in. Each Quick Guide starts with a Preventive Maintenance Basis Database, or PMBD, component template. Degradation influences and mechanisms have been evaluated by EPRI and industry SMEs for sensor viability. Sensors are assigned a level of detectability based on the probability of spotting a specific failure mechanism. A high level means that there is at least a 97% chance that the sensor will detect the failure mode. Medium corresponds with an 80% chance and low equates to a 50% chance. A decision matrix can then be developed to classify the minimum quantity of measurement technologies required to address each failure mode impacted by the PM task. Tasks are assessed for a recommendation by evaluating the sensor quantity and detectability, PM task impact on the failure mode, and the failure mode severity classification. Let's use a horizontal pump with sleeve bearings as an example. Given the sleeve bearing wear degradation mechanism, several sensors are identified. Triaxial accelerometers, proximity probes, and bearing temperatures are classified as high detectability sensors. Oil wear particle count is identified as medium and electrical signature analysis as low. Each degradation mechanism for a given failure mode is evaluated in the same manner. Ultimately, a recommendation can be developed based on these analyses. One of the core benefits of implementing Quick Guides is really around leveraging industry knowledge. As we've had a transitioning workforce and a lot of our staff have not been in the plants year after year after year, your Quick Guides enable a way for you to really understand what the components are, what the necessary maintenance is, what the potential degradation mechanisms are, and how to address all those concerns. Quick Guides consists of five sections. The Effectiveness Summary describes boundary conditions for each evaluation. The Task Assessment Summary houses statistical details, as well as COLM assessment numerical results. The Ideal Instrumentation Layout contains a list of all currently available sensor technologies, a graphic representation of the equipment, and normalized sensor values. The PM Task Assessment provides a list of currently recommended tasks in the PMBD, Monitoring and Analysis Methods, and the final recommendation and accompanying notes. Lastly, typical advanced pattern recognition model configuration assists with APR model development. The benefit of using EPRI's Continuous Online Monitoring Quick Guides is that they define a monitoring strategy for components as opposed to strictly a maintenance strategy. A Quick Guide user starts with a gap analysis to determine existing equipment sensor coverage. This analysis identifies degradation mechanisms and failure modes that could be detected with additional sensors and PM tasks that might be replaced or extended. Next. He or she identifies existing data points in the data repository and recognizes data that is not directly captured. Then, the user determines degradation mechanisms and failure modes not applicable to the component in question. 
In a subsequent step, the guide user evaluates the remaining degradation mechanisms and failure modes for lack of detection and establishes a risk tolerance profile. The final step is to select the sensors required to bridge the gap in degradation mechanism and failure mode detection data in order for the PM task to be replaced or extended. Quick guides allow users to reduce operations and maintenance costs, implement sensors in the overall maintenance strategy, and identify vulnerabilities in a component's maintenance strategy. Quick guides are accessible through EPRI's Member Center at www.epri.com.